Are single mothers the new government target? Project 2025 doesn't just demonize single mothers. It wants to change policies to punish single moms and perhaps even remove children from single parent households. Don't take my word for it. Let me show you. Their top priority is promise number one, restoring the family as the centerpiece of American life. And they specifically call out unmarried mothers as a reason that the American family is in crisis. 400 pages later, when you get to their section on the Department of Health and Human Services, you see that they want to rewrite what the definition of a family is to be comprised of a married mother and father and their children. Saying that currently Health and Human Services is too focused on LGBTQ plus equity and subsidizing single motherhood. And saying that these policies should be repealed and replaced by policies that support the formation of stable married nuclear families. It's not enough to be uh, heterosexual, by the way, because they also call out homes with non-related boyfriends as being one of the most dangerous places for a child. And they don't much like surrogacy either. In the context of emerging reproductive technologies, Health and Human Services should never place the desire of adults over the right of a child to be raised by the biological fathers and mothers who conceived them. Here's a horrifying paragraph. The Secretary of Health and Human Services' anti-discrimination policy statements should never conflate sex with gender identity or sexual orientation. Rather, the Secretary should proudly state that men and women are biological realities that are crucial to the advancement of life sciences and medical care, and that married men and women are the ideal natural family structure because all children have a right to be raised by the men and women who conceived them. They also want to promote reunification as a part of child support, which is terrifying for domestic violence survivors. And they want to institute a healthy marriage and relationship education program uh, in every state level high school in America with curriculum on healthy marriages. Oh, I wasn't kidding about child support either. Child support in the United States should strengthen marriage as the norm, restore broken homes, and encourage unmarried couples to commit to marriage. There's also a line in here that basically says that if you're the parent of a transgender child, that that is child abuse. And if everything I've read hasn't sounded too bad, you haven't been reading between the lines, and this line here should clear it up. But the pro-family promises expressed in this book and central to the next conservative president's agenda must go much further than the traditional narrow definition of family issues. Every threat to family stability must be confronted. This resolve should color each of our policies. And any family that's not a uh, heterosexual married family, that's a threat to them.